Hi, welcome to Regular Girls. Um, hopefully the audio is okay here. It's loud right now because I'm shouting. Um, but hi, welcome to Regular Girls. God, I haven't been on this podcast in legitimately almost a month, it feels like. It's been a hot minute, um, but I have two very special guests today. One being the Paige. Do I call you Paige? Soraya? I was, Soraya? What do you want me to call you on on this? Either or, I think. I was, I was expecting like a I was expecting like a really long introduction. You were like the page. <laughs> so I was, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna do one, but then I couldn't decide which one of you to introduce okay, first. Well, so first of all, I'm Paige, SmackDown Live general manager. Yes. Also, yeah. my real name is Rhea, which I prefer, yeah. unless I don't like so you. So I'm gonna call you Rhea. Yeah. So and there's a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome my longtime good friend, colleague, friend for life, the Tina <laughs> to my Amy, the yeah. the Joan to my Blondie, <laughs> Soraya. That's a me. That's a me. So you'll see this anytime I tell people to call me Paige, it's because I don't like them. Oh, okay. So I'm like, you can use my stripper name. That's all you get. Yeah. You can't. You can't get that close to me. Gravy calls me Raya. I do. Yeah. Which brings in our next yeah. guest. <laughs> Did I just give it away? Mr. Crazy Corey thing. Graves. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can you like come closer? We need to like, we he's need like to sit awkwardly right close. Now. So he's got to dip in. We're in this weird back room. We're in Omaha, Nebraska. We found this perfect little uh, podcast room, but we only have one mic. So we're all going to have to talk into the mic <laughs> and make it work. Um, yeah. Otherwise, Stacey's going to behead me so hey thanks for coming on thank you for having me i'm just disappointed it took me this long to be on the regular girls podcast because when you think <laughs> about regular girls you would think of none other than Corey graves so I listen, assume. you know about regular girls he does know about girls I'm, absolutely I'm like the dude equivalent of a basic bitch <laughs> <laughs> but no one's so we never have guests on the podcast unless we do it in person which i never really do stacy does that on times that if i'm not here to jump on she'll grab a friend but i never really get to do it so, Wait, so how does this work where's stacy is she gonna pop on or no, is she a figment of renee's imagination yeah. so not does she even person. exist <laughs> are you Who lying to us Stacey. oh the stacy quotations well, so stacy is doing um she's got a big show with second city and that show mm-hmm. is opening so she's gonna be busy this week and um anyways so we're here filling in. it's just the three of us she's not here sorry stace right. sorry. no stace um let's I'm talk dying. let's unpack this look that you have right now this au natural nat- look more natural yeah. of looks yeah I so my it. look isn't so natural but for me as as Paige. yeah it's very natural. Usually, I, I look it. like an like an evil version of myself. Right, right, right. But now you're just like kind, sweet, genteel Paige. Yeah. Now I'm just like uh, approachable. Yeah. I would say I was very approachable today. She's just, she's like, People have been talking to me more. Next door, really? Yeah. No, yeah, I don't I know. People do talk to me. How more. do you feel about it? I'm a fan of it. Uh, yeah. I saw your picture on Instagram this morning though, and I was worried. I don't know if it was a filter. It looked as though your nose had begun to disappear. No, I, were, I think it was just that angle. Yeah, maybe, but you were venturing into dangerous Michael Jackson <laughs> and You know what? Really People just think I look like Michael Jackson anyway. No. But I... Oh, yeah, the, like, the girl from The Ring, Michael Jackson. Okay, the girl oh from The God. Ring I can get, but Michael Jackson, oh, why you. do people think you look like oh, Michael really? Jackson? I know, pale with, like, a small nose. No, but I never put a filter in it. Like, I only put, like, one of those... Phil, is that just changes the color a little bit? I never like auto tuned it or anything like I don't that. Understand but my nose that did that look auto tuned. Pretty small. Let me is it auto tuned? My nose. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I mean, whatever it is. Photoshop or face tune. Face tune. Whatever. I actually didn't do anything to it, but I was like surprised my nose are really small. Maybe it's because I got my lips done and it was that. Oh, is this new? Another lip. Yeah, I did another lip. When did you do it? Um, like a couple of days ago, did that in Botox. It's been it seven nice. months. Seven months since I had my lips done again, and the lady was like, "Hey, it's, it's about time. It's time. If you want it, it's there." So that's standard. Every like six, seven months, you oh. do the lips again. Pump them up. Yeah, yeah they yeah, look nice. Them up. Thank you. A big fresh look. Thank John you. always makes fun of me because when I do my makeup. I tend to do a look where I, I guess I'm like puffing my lips up because I think I look prettier. <laughs> and he always calls me out on it. I feel like everyone has a look like that though. No? Everyone does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like gravy, you probably have a look. I'm do sure you like flex look. or something? I don't flex. I don't have any muscles left. I, uh, I usually do like the the, 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 the smolder. Like you the, do the yeah. smolder. You oh, I know your look. Yeah. I oh, see I your look. Eyebrow raise. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he does a look that's like yeah, you you smolder. Smolder. You're doing oh, yeah. it right now. Have you seen the, the new Jumanji? No. Uh, oh, so yes. Dwayne has the look in it, right? Yeah. Where he does like a smoldering look. Yeah. And that's it's great. It's great. 
Yeah, all of your yeah. on-cams are a very um, come hither and watch Sorry, wrestling with me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what's really good? You were talking about like losing your muscles. Is all of us are not doing in-ring activity. I never have. And now the best thing is, is that we can cover our bodies up. Yes. We can eat whatever the. Can we cuss on there? Yeah. Do we can eat whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it was just great. And Look how fucking fat my coffee is. Yes. It's a caramel latte. Give me that cream. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I was yeah. just saying. So um, Graves and I were just talking because. So did you see the pictures him and his wife did this week? Oh yeah, horny as hell. It's still horny as hell. It reminds me of flashback from FCW when you were doing. The when promo class with Dusty, the, uh, and it was Summer Rain. They call me Graves. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> call me Graves, Dusty! Yeah. Uh, I love it. I feel like I tried to do one of those promos. I feel like you did. Game. Every female, I think, in FCW. But right. Audrey Marie was always the one who was like, I have to do this. It's it my spot. very awkward about it, though. She was not... It was she always in great, underwear. But yeah. Never, great body. Never yeah, yeah. But it was, she, could, she couldn't find the sex. She could be happening. sexy. Yeah, no, there's if a she difference. wanted to. There's a difference. There are, there are women who are just beautiful and look attractive, mm -hmm. and then knowing how to be sexy, totally, oh, totally different. Oh, massively different. Totally different. Which I love Mandy, but like that was a thing that we had to tell her at the beginning. I was like, you're so beautiful and you're so sexy when you're just like walking down the hallway. Yeah. Then you walk out, you're just kind of doing like this gallop. <laughs> And it's like the weirdest <laughs> thing ever. And I'm like, dude, you need to chill out. And she's like, yeah, I think I'm trying too hard. Yeah, I think absolutely. that's what happens. There, there are girls that are less physically attractive that know how to work it and be sexy. And yeah. I would take a thousand times over like a knockout 10. Yeah. That's well, cool. Oh, you would prefer someone that knows how to be sexy as opposed to somebody that's just pretty and doesn't want to be sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Sure. I don't know how to be sexy. I, I don't have like a we clue. I don't know how to be sexy. I don't have a clue. But we ooze sexiness when we walk down I, the hallway. You're right. People yeah. told me that I ooze sexiness. Turn, yeah. <laughs> you know, people, we turn heads. Well, actually, I don't know if we actually do it. Well, you probably do. But no, I don't. No. I feel like, you know, I feel like I used to. I don't think I do anymore. I think it's gone. Maybe, I think that maybe portion you're just of my trying, life. Though, maybe you were, like, now you're married. You're just like, you know what? I don't need it. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you always look like, good. I don't know. You maybe my pheromones have shut down or something. You're like, I'm married. Right, shut up. <laughs> shut her down. Yeah. Quit, up. quit seeping out to everybody. Yeah. Come oh on. Um, oh, so anyways, but what Graves and I were talking about, he was showing me the pictures from his photo shoot um, with him and his wife. And it's crazy to me that, like, I mean, for his wife, Amy, she's had three kids. Keeps oh, it tight and right. Oh, she's yeah. not messing around. I am all for it. I it's was nuts. very much, like, a big fan of that photo shoot. Yeah, you So when we decided right. to do it, just be like, hey, babe, you want to just, like, go to no. the clothes It was your idea, no, right? It was your idea. It was 100% Graves' idea. We're going Graves. Here's my picture. I still no, got it. Her, totally her idea. And I wasn't aware of much about it until I got home. Like, I had one day at home last week, and I was doing everything in real life that yeah. you need to accomplish in your one day at home. And after all that, I was exhausted and tired, didn't want to talk to anybody, and there was someone Typical. that I didn't know in my house taking photos of my wife, who was barely wearing clothes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, how are you? And apparently the photographer is a friend of my wife's, so she was right. Is it a guy or a girl? It was a girl. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're like, this is strange. Yeah, but it, it, no, it was just like, okay, I, I kind of half forgot about it. And then there was like they had a whole plan as to uh, my my classic car was involved and it wow. was like, they uh, I don't know who came up with the ideas or what was about to happen. I know at one point my wife was in the woods, yeah, <laughs> underwear nice. and her nipples were out. Oh, they were out. Yeah, I'll show you. Nice. Want to see the yeah. here? I'm, I'm, yeah, they're great. Right. She's gonna hate me, but. She knows no, she, she likes it. I feel like she, I feel like she embraces it. Also, oh, yeah, okay. if, you, if you're taking like semi-nude photos, they're to be seen. Oh, That's what absolutely. they're for. Right. Get them out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll we'll post these all okay. in the regular girls. Yeah, all on the website. <laughs> so it just flashes up. Great nipples. Yeah. Great, great nipples. Yeah. She looks fantastic. You know, she looks like she looks freaking jacked. She, she is jacked. jacked. Yeah. Damn! Damn! Sorry, I'm looking at one where it's like a big old close up of those nips. Yeah. She yeah. looks great. She Nipple looks to boob ratio is on point. Yeah. And oh, that absolutely. is respectable. They don't I look agree. weird. That's a real that's a real fine line to From walk. Yeah. Nipple to boob ratio is very yeah. yeah. From three babies having to like yeah. aggressively attach themselves to those. Oh my gosh. Yeah. To like now weaned off and they look fine. They're in yeah. perfect shape. <laughs> so I was talking to somebody about who was I talking to? I was telling somebody about that yesterday, about how the female boob changes when you have a baby, mm. because I guess your your nipples completely change. Uh, what, do they get bigger? What do you know about it, Father? Um, <laughs> I know that at some point... Pope during, Grace? Yeah. <laughs> uh, during pregnancy, there's all sorts of weird shit that happens. Yeah. Just 
throughout the entire anatomy. Enlighten us. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's they get real dark and big, and apparently oh, that's so that like, when babies. No, 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 not not texturally, just okay. vis visually, um, because. Babies, I guess, need to find them, so oh. they're dark. Oh, is that why? Yeah, that's crazy I, I, that our bodies do that. Just when their right. bodies like darken yeah. up, yeah, yeah and darken up, these, yeah. And then um, I don't know because my wife had fake boobs when she first got pregnant, and yeah. I actually thought they looked better afterwards because like they got super huge, and then they kind of shrunk, back shrunk down. down a little bit, but then they were like more natural, natural looking. Mm. And then she just got brand new ones, so they're just out for the world to see. So. She's just like, I no want to show these bad boys off. You know why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? Bam. Oh yeah, and you're like, ooh, yeah, like oh, that's, that's you guys. Cool yeah, but that's but it's beautiful. it's nice. Yeah, that's so sweet. You can totally like frame that. It's nice that you have these like romantic sexual photos. Um, yeah, no actual romance or sex, just oh, photos. You, you guys, that's <laughs> not true because you guys have three kids proof for it. You guys are you guys get it on. Listen, my youngest child is about to be four next week. Okay, that's the last time I had sex. <laughs> Don't say that. I She's gonna be like, that. what? Yeah, you're full of shit. <laughs> He's a liar. Um, so, Paige, we pulled you away from um, the England uh, football game. Are you, you what's your stress level right now? I've, I have a lot of anxiety going on, but you know what? My friend Edith in the production office is yeah. keeping me updated. Oh, she actually just texted me. We're and? still like 1-1 one, one okay. with Columbia. Okay. And um, the clock is still going. No penalty kicks minutes yet. minutes of play. No, I'm pretty sure it's going to go to a penalty shootout, and I'm really oh. hoping... Yeah, I mean, if it's a shootout, are you gonna have to leave? I can't imagine no, not you know watching what? a I'm, shootout. I'm okay with it. I'll, okay. I'll keep it updated. This is, you know what? I'm doing this for you, Renee. I appreciate it. I wouldn't it. do it for anyone else. Oh, I'm like, my you bet. I got asked to go to the friggin' office like about 15 minutes ago awesome. to go to TR, yeah, and yeah. I've still yet to even text back to that. They need you to sign papers for Australia. Oh, yeah. Please That's come it. to TR to confirm appearances. Oh. I'm like, nope. In an appearance. Don't do it. See you later. We're at the oh. appearance. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm busy. What I'm can I say? Here. I'm watching the England game and I'm trying to do Renee's podcast. Yeah. So. She's multitasking. Yeah, we, we've all got tall orders here. I don't even know if I'm doing a good job with the microphone. I'm just like spinning it around the room. You know what? If we're kind of all yelling, yelling anyway. So yeah. Just, yeah. I feel like we're all good at projecting and shouting. Yeah. Um, we had a bit of a sing-off in the car last night. Ooh, we really yeah, were. we were doo wopping okay. it like crazy. We went oh, old, like old school, school soul yeah. stuff. Okay. We covered um, a solid like six decades worth yeah. of music. I love that. Hours. That's great. Isn't the best? Yeah. I sat in the back. And, and Renee can carry a tune too. Wait, who did you ride with? I was with uh, with Graves and Mansuri. Oh, that's yeah, a fun good car. dream team. Great. You yeah. know what? I wish Mansuri was in here right now. Yeah, where is he? Text his ass. No, save it for the next podcast. <laughs> Don't be stealing Thanks. the heat. We no. got it. You guys are great, but come it's on. It's actually true. He'll come in here. He'll start doing impressions. He'll try to upstage us, and then uh, it'll be called yeah. regular Mansuri. Yeah. And this podcast <laughs> won't exist anymore. Paige is playing footsies with me. So no, I, I, we need to add a video element to this podcast so everyone can I see. I, actually, I accidentally just stood on his foot, and I had to apologize <laughs> because... They have okay, really nice shoes, they're and nice I feel like they're pretty brand new, and mine are kind of scuffed up Converse, so. No, they look good. Everyone looks great. Everyone looks a little dirt, like, a little dirty really Converse. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have a little dirt on your Converse. Yeah. Fresh Converse. It's no, a no-go, right? Fresh shoes in general. You gotta scuff you them have to, You have to expect someone to stand on your foot when you're wearing white shoes, yeah. just to mess with you. I remember, like, the, one of, like, the first, like, I think I did, like, a music video or something, and, the, like, the styling was, like, just, like, some white chucks or something, and the stylist went outside and just, like, smashed them against the curb for a bit. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that's that's how you that know when you get like new wrestling boots and you just don't you want to wear around the house. Yeah, you'd wear and you'd scuff them out in the concrete outside, Renee. You remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You remember those days? Slice them up. Man, I'm so happy that I stopped wearing wrestling boots though and end up wearing like dogs. 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 Oh, what well, a lifesaver! Weren't those heavy to wrestling? Nah. Well, the first day it felt kind of weird, but like I didn't have the uh, steel capped one. Yeah. You know, the, the the steel toe. Yeah. They were, I mean, they were basic. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, right. it is what it is. Hey, it is what it is. Hi, but they were great. Um, so yeah, now you're not in the ring and you get to do whatever you want. Whatever the fuck. How you good want. does that feel? <laughs> oh, it feels great. There's a lot of freedom. I mean, I, I pretty much have a lot of freedom anyway, which is great. Yeah. But I feel it feels good. I, I wear stuff that covers my stomach now, and I feel good about that. Yeah. Um, what else? What else is? Hey, new? Did, did you talk about that maniac from the building the other day? Oh yeah, what psychopath was that? Yeah, right? let's I haven't spoken about little. it with anyone. Oh, let's talk me. about I it. Remember, I the first people I text was you, Renee. Yeah. Uh, was in the of a car with I was with you, yeah. Riding in the next town. Did you? Did she tell you about it? Yeah. Did you know, was, it? Yeah, she was like, we're all gonna turn around. We had a, we had a very an unusual car for that loop. We had Tom we Phillips did. and Percy Watson and the two of us. Yeah. It oh was man. A, uh, it was a real motley crew. Interesting group. We made it work. 
I'm happy that I made it work. Right. But those, yeah. So tell us about. So we're in Chicago after the show, yeah. and some douche nozzle of a fan uh, got that. in your shit. Yeah. You know what? I learned a new word. If someone I don't like, I call him crusty. Oh, crusty's good. Yeah. I usually call him a scab, but you know what? Someone just laid an old crusty word on me, and yeah. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're a crusty scab. So yeah, crusty this guy was scab. a crusty scab. The, the, the grossest of the gross. You know, yeah. You know, a little bit pest. Maybe a little infected. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But old hairs in there. Yeah. <laughs> old ingrown hair in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it was after Money in the Bank, and then my friend Matt, who's very, very sweet, um, was coming to pick me up. And he like pulls in, and as we pull out, I always do a thing where I wind the window down, um, and then I'm like, wind the window down, like it's an old fucking wind job. your body. I mean, press the button to lower the window. <laughs> Since it's new school, uh, and I always like tag the kids' hand, like thanks for the show. And every every time I saw Chicago, there's always thousands of fans waiting Everywhere. out there anyway. Like it's they're just diehard fans, which is great. But you always could just get one dickhead, right? Yeah. So as I'm tying someone's hand, uh, like people's hands, he comes running along and then he tries to like shove his hand in the car to like pie face me, right? So I remember seeing him and I'm like, what the? It was like slow motion. I was like, woo. And he like clips the end of my nose and I'm like, what the fuck? My tiny nose. (laughs) (laughs) It was full size. size. And then all of a sudden it just like underdeveloped. Um, Yeah, and then. Then he told me to lose some fucking weight, page, And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. As if. Yeah. As if. As if. Wait, where's that from? Clueless. Clueless. <laughs> I was like, clueless. As if. Yeah. As if. So that happened. And I remember I was like, so, like I got the car. I was so mad about it. But I was like, you know what? I've had a really shitty year and a half. I really need to keep my shit together. Yeah. Right? Because if I blow up right now, it's definitely going to be on the internet. And it's going to be Paige being the bad <sighs> guy. Always. So I'm just like, all right, I'm going to relax. I text Mark Carano because obviously like he's our boss and I'm like, hey, this is what happened out here. Mm-hmm. Um, just to let you know. And I was like really upset by, by it because, you know, you can never make everyone happy. You're either too skinny, you're too fat. And I remember like, oh, you know something. when you just get angry tears? And I was yeah. just like angry tearing in the car. Like, and I remember like I texted you. I uh, text Mark Carano because I, I, I had to. Obviously Kaylin, my mm-hmm. boyfriend. And then uh, Naya, and she was still in the locker room, and her and Rhonda were ready to come out and kick some butt. And I was like, <laughs> it's okay. Can you imagine? Oh Just all God. of us, like, like, <laughs> like freedom, like, freaking Braveheart and this shit. <laughs> Weapons that on our horses. It would have been a crime yeah. scene if we all got out. Oh, my God, what a group. What, yeah, a crazy group. So, um, but luckily, no one, no one did anything, which is great. But um, it did end up obviously in the end. And you know what? I, I looked at it afterwards and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I don't care. I like being a little bit thicker than I was. I was very skinny. Like, grossly skinny. I You're very crackhead. skinny for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, scary. But, you know, now I'm putting weight in all the right places. Not my stomach. Obviously, that's why I cover it up when I'm on TV. Look at now. you, though. You got these big old titties out. They you are growing. Good life. They are growing. I like Which it. I'm happy about. I'm here for yeah. it. We're all here for yeah. it. I have no, no objections to what's yeah. happening whatsoever. <laughs> It's all growing in the right places apart from the stomach. You know, that's always going to be there. But I'm okay with it. It's fine. Yeah. I, I feel good a little bit, a little bit thicker than Isn't I was. Isn't it nice um, when you kind of get to that point in your life where you don't feel like you have to be all of the things? And I you know. can be like, you know what? I can either be miniature sized and not eat and not be happy or oh, being whatever. Yeah. But it's like finding that balance. I and mean, when you get to the point where you're just like comfortable and cool with where you're at and like, fuck it. Oh, You're a yeah. woman. You have a body. It's it's let life happen. Please. Oh yeah. Why oh, not? Why not? I, you know what? I get I get super happy with my body when I'm on my period. Sorry, Corey. But I can't even think of that day. <laughs> my bo- my boobs get bigger, and I'm like, yeah, I am feeling myself. <laughs> I am feeling myself. That that's like a that's like we're kind we're kind of pregnant, but obviously we're getting told yeah. we're not to. Right, right, but right. We up it and wait on it. Prepare for it. You're like, yes, jugs. See, I get I, have jugs. I actually don't like when my boobs get big because it makes me have to dress differently. You do get really big though. Yours just like my take a whopping get, turn in the middle. I like, know. Like pow, but like you already already have a nice sized boobs. I great, gotta, great tits. Boobs. Great set knockers, right? <laughs> but like when you actually come on your period, yeah. those things like triple in size. They get I've big. never seen anything like it in my life. It it's is like wild. a freaking. Yeah, what? I'm like National Geographic. You're like, you're like Transformers. <laughs> Transformers. You go from a Mini Cooper into a fucking truck. Yeah. It's, it's, I size. mean, it can be a good time, but also I'm like, oop. It, it's like my first indicator that if I'm putting on weight, it goes to my boobs first. Isn't that oh, great? Right. It's great. Sometimes yeah. it's great. Then you get like that weird armpit tit. Yep, I get a lot of the armpit tits. I hate armpit tits. I know, when I take pictures, I'm always like, what the fuck is this? Where did you come from? Yeah, what is going on? I think I have a picture, and I was like, oh my god, how long have I been ugly? Tell me. (laughs) (laughs) 
Fuck is that what you told me? No one told me. Um, do you have any um, b- body things you'd like to discuss with this grace? Oh, you know I what I mean? That. Oh, yeah. Wow. But that's like, that's just what? like, that's full on side boob. That's big side boob. Yeah, no, but it's also Actually, armpit. you know what? I saw that picture and I did notice it. Thank you, Renee. Not, the, yeah, not the armpit. Out. No, but, the but not bad. No, so I did that a week before and my whole, I've got a picture Your of it. ass caught on fire? So, no, I, I went oh, to the lake weren't. a week before I went to Tahoe with Kaylin and all our friends and stuff like that. Anyway, I was wearing shorts and I forgot to put sunscreen on my actual butt. So I take my shorts off, I'm in, I'm in the lake, I'm like on these freaking floaties on my butt hanging out, feeling good, yeah, drunk. And then I'm just like, oh my god, and my ass was on fire. No. Like I took a picture of like that. Uh, Do you have to aloe it? Yeah, sorry, I'm going to like oh, yeah, show you. I'm a little... Show us what you work in. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I was trying to cover up my butt because my I'm sending it to my friends in the group chat and I was like I don't need any more nudes out there. No, no. So I mean the ones you have are great. Uh, well, but. I was 19. They could be bad. <laughs> if only they could see me now. Maybe I'll just like throw some out there and be like, "Yeah, but guys, look at me now." My just... eye clouds open. <laughs> I don't use eye cloud anymore. So I get confused by that because I don't think that I use it, but then there's certain things that like I, like I sent an email to somebody that came from like my iCloud account. I don't I don't really understand how it works, but um, I think you are still up. up to like your your email but like it doesn't save to your like I so like pictures I went to like an Apple Apple store and they were they were trying to show me and I was trying to understand it. I don't so, yeah, so I, I maybe speaking like crap. Like contacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you but can yeah, switch I mean, on you can turn everything things. else off. Right. right? Yeah. And do it on your phone. And also you just stop taking pictures like that. Yeah. So, sure. Sure. So that's definitely a, a word for the But there's the also like Sometimes you want to take a picture like that. There's a little fun in that, right? I mean, it doesn't yeah. have to be all business. That's why I get a Polaroid camera. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, would you, like, put it in a snail mail and send it to somebody? But yeah. isn't that a, that's a really great idea. I feel like there's, yeah. like, some real true romance to that. Yeah, it is. I love it's that like, idea. Is that only, like, if I, set, if I take a picture, I'll ta- I'm will i going to take a picture and I'm going to give it to Kayla. He's going to have that forever. Yes. You know what I mean? We just got a Polaroid <laughs> camera, actually, like, only just, and we started taking pictures of everyone. And I had the thought, like, like one day, like, when he comes back from tour, I'm just going to lay a couple of pictures on the old pillar. So Or send it. My, and send my it. brain right now, just when we were thinking about that, I'm like, oh, that would be, like, a cool idea. I could, like, take some pictures and then send them to our house. But then I pictured John opening them and him thinking we were being blackmailed. <laughs> And also, I don't think you can put like a timer on that, right? No, but like if you, you need to hey, it's take just a picture like of Polaroid pictures of like his naked wife. He'd be like, "Where are these from? <laughs> yeah. Who took a picture of my wife?" Yeah. I like write a, ran- write a ransom note. Like, <laughs> hey, I've been I've been fucking your wife. You're like, Damn. wait, no. <laughs> You're trying to do They're something sweet. Oh, yeah, it would be terrible. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's not a good idea. Not a good maybe idea. Maybe I shouldn't do that. At all. Anyway. But it's hard, to take, it's hard to take pictures these days. You can't. You Nothing's just can't. safe. Yeah, nothing's sacred or anymore. Or you have to, like, crop your head out, and then that makes you feel, like, worse. Yeah. Right? I've got that whole problem where I'm, like, tattooed from the neck oh, down. Yeah. So, like, oh, yeah. I can so crop you can my just, face out all day. Well, matter. with me, too, now yeah, I have this now tattoo. That one. It's yeah. a staple. Now you're done. Yeah. Everyone yeah. knows it. Slippery slope. That's a problem with tattoos. Yeah. Are you going to get any more? course you are you so don't know surely yeah you know what i mean well now again i don't i can wear a jacket and stuff like that i'll probably slowly just like have more yeah you should Grace, do you even have any room for more <laughs> yeah my chest is still in progress it's are you gonna I get want some on your head no i don't <laughs> think i want to tattoo my face that's probably like where i'll draw the line i feel like you could pull off a face tattoo <laughs> i feel like we wouldn't a, even be able to notice career. like even if you just did like one like here somewhere like in like your like hairline by your ear. Yeah, but I've got these great sideburns and then I'd have to get rid of one of them. I just feel like if you just did a tattoo on your, no one would notice it would just look normal. It would look normal. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, very interesting that that was brought up that uh, yesterday we were riding to the building and the boss, Vince, says, Corey, I know I'm not the most observant, but did you get new ink? (laughs) And I'm wearing a suit. (laughs) And I'm going, "Uh, no. He goes, I don't think I've ever noticed the stuff on your hands before. What? Like, well, I'm like, well, I've had them literally since I've been employed here, so I don't, <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're not new, and then I started, I was like, do I tell them that my chest is, nah, you know, yeah. no, sir, nope, Forget thank you, it. yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, damn, you, you just start whipping your chest, so yeah, I just start, this piece. I just start unbuttoning <laughs> my shirt, and I'm like, it's like, is that a dinosaur <laughs> eating a woman's head, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, That's sir, it one. is, yeah. that is the one, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we've got to take a quick little break for um, a word from our sponsors, we'll be right back. Hello, regular girls. It's Stacey here. I wanted to talk about our first sponsor, and that is ZipRecruiter. 
Listen, hiring is challenging, but there's one place you can go where hiring is simple, fast, and smart. A place where growing businesses connect to qualified candidates. And that place is ZipRecruiter.com slash regular. ZipRecruiter sends your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards, but they don't stop there. With their powerful matching technology, ZipRecruiter scans thousands of resumes to find people with the right experience and invite them to apply to your job. As applications come in, ZipRecruiter analyzes each one and spotlights the top candidates. So you never miss a great match. ZipRecruiter is so effective that 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. With results like that, it's no wonder that ZipRecruiter is the highest rated hiring site in America. And right now, for the Regular Girls listeners, you get to try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, which is ZipRecruiter.com slash regular. That is ZipRecruiter.com slash regular. That's R-E-G-U-A. R-E-G-U-L-A-R. See, we just learned how to spell together. That is ZipRecruiter.com slash regular. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Hey, and we're back. (laughs) Um, So I am truly brain dead right now. So this morning I woke up. Um, I slept like an angel last night um, because I had none of the beer that you had left over in the car, Graves. There's still some in my room. It's, is it in the fridge at least? Yeah, there's a refrigerator. Can you come closer so we can hear I'm you? I'm sorry. I was lounging. I was relaxing. Listen, this he mostly has the nonchalant pose. Oh, nice. He's either nonchalant or smoldering. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't like talking to the microphone. <laughs> um, so this morning, I, um, I had to Skype with this lovely woman named Edith, um, who's my French tutor. So I took a French class today for like an hour and a half. Wait, wait. Did you mention uh, your friend Edith earlier? I don't think it's the same one. She... Oh, her both, name's Edith? The fact yeah. that you both have friends named Edith. Hello? Oh my gosh, it's oh, AJ Styles! Styles. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're doing my podcast. <laughs> podcast. Are you doing What's a that? podcast in here? Yeah, Do you know any different languages? Do I know any different yeah. languages? Uh, Scotia, Japanese, oh. Poquito, Spanish, Ooh. and that's about it. Yeah. Ooh, there's two sentences. Yeah. 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 You want to hang out with us? Um, so yeah, I took the I took um, my French class today with this woman Edith. So I just Skype with her for like an hour and a half, and she had like this like whiteboard, and we would just so we were talking in French, and like so I took French from uh, fourth grade to twelfth. So I have like a a solid foundation of French, but not having used it in so long, she was like try and just have like a regular conversation with me and she was asking me about this book I'm reading which is called After Dark by um, uh, Haruku Meru Shami Her- <laughs> <laughs> I always say his name wrong every <laughs> time <laughs> Haruku Meru Shami I think that's right um, anyone who's listening to this and knows who that is is going to kill me because he's a lovely author but anyways the book is about these two sisters that are very separate and I was trying to explain to her in French that one of them had to help a prostitute that got beat up in a hotel so Did me speak in French? I was trying my best wait how long have you been taking these classes for? No, she said she had I took grass, yeah elementary. Yeah, oh, I took it in school. Canada, yeah, yeah. Obviously. So I took it and know like enough, but me trying to explain to this woman who I've just met about my, my book about prostitutes being beat up in hotel rooms <laughs> was a real scene. And now my brain like does not work at this point. I can't believe how much it like, I haven't used my brain in so long. I can't believe how much it shocked me. Yeah. I'm rattled. It's hard. It is really I hard. I actually did take some Spanish classes, which... And was, I mean, it was good. Did you do like Rosetta Stone, or you did like an? No, 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 no. no. Muzzy. Well, WWE do remember, has. Do you guys have Muzzy in Canada or England? No, no. When I was a kid growing up, they used to have like before Rosetta Stone, there was a children's learning. There were videotapes. Yeah. And it was this animated character called Muzzy, and you could just choose your language you wanted to learn, and and Muzzy helped you out. He didn't help me out. I <laughs> never, never ordered it, but you see the commercials on like Nickelodeon, and. There, I don't know. It just stuck with me we forever. We don't know Muzzy. Well, check you, I Google guess when you're younger, you, you just learn from Dora Explorer when it comes to Dora. Like, but Dora was on it. I remember WWE has this program. Are you doing it with WWE? Yeah. yeah. So like they have a program which is awesome. Well, they'll well they'll pay for you to learn a different yeah. language or any course that you want to do in school, which they'll pay for, which yeah. is, which is great. So I did a couple of classes, but the thing is, is that the person. Um, just wanted to talk about wrestling the whole time. Like, no. didn't even teach me anything. So then it just made it not fun. And I was like, okay, I just, I just learn it naturally. And as I go, right. I teach myself. You did have Muzzy in in England because that's BBC. I don't know, but I don't know I Muzzy. Can't it. I don't think I'm I've seen that in my I life. Have a lot older than you. 
Yeah, oh, you're yeah. you're a lot older than both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what what, are, what yes. year are you? Eighty four. Okay, so you're five years older than me. <laughs> just kidding. Just one. It's only one. Oh God, it's only one. Um, but uh, oh, you got a text from Fuckface. Fuck yeah. So that's. <laughs> And it has a little rat and two hearts next to it, and that is my boyfriend. Oh, that's But he sweet. calls me Trash Bag. Yeah, Aww. so I have, like, nicknames for everyone in the firm. Yeah. You guys don't have nicknames yet, though. Wow. I'm Graves and, and Renee, which I probably should just change it Gravy, because I call you Gravy all the time. Yeah. It's, it's becoming a more common gravy. common name. It's For a long time, I haven't been Gravy, but now recently there's an influx of people that have begun to use resumed using it. And at, oh, yeah. FCW, yeah. it was always Gravy. Gravy, yeah. Well, it's yeah. like a sweet little name. I mean, calling you just Graves all the time, but Gravy is like, like more of a pet name. I guess it fits that I'm just like old and grizzled. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're coming into your own. Yeah, really, this is my milieu. <laughs> There was a great, there was a gravy um, commercial in England, and it was a Bisto thing. And he goes, ah, oh, Bisto. But it was like you save, <laughs> and it's like you save the best till, yeah. <laughs> and it's always like save the best till last. So that gravy is, but maybe we should call you Bisto. Bisto, Bisto, Bisto. I like that was Bisto. a full like wraparound. Yeah, that was really there was there was a lot of thought for yeah. that one. Bisto, Bisto. I, I'm not going to call Well, I'm going to call you Frenchie. <laughs> Speak Renee. French to me. People Renee. used to do that to me all the time when I was like, played sports and stuff. They always called me that. Renee is really one cool. of my only friends that calls me by my government name yeah. most, most of the time. Usually yeah. just by my last name. Yeah, you're, you're I kind of do it as a gag, though. Like, I like saying it because it's funny to me to be like, yo, Matt. Yeah. Polinsky. Oh, so Polinsky. So it is weird. weird. But you know what I think it started? So I've, I never really called you Matt much before but then when I was over at your house and I felt weird calling you Graves or like by your gimmick name yeah. around your family yeah. Yeah. like that's yeah. weird like when Amy's yeah. calling you Matt or like your kids are calling you dad and then I'm calling you Graves I'm like, you who are you dad. you're like fuck it dad <laughs> dad <laughs> dad I don't know what to call you actually I did have to do that last night because I had to get five dollars from you to pay the cat or the um valet oh, so I dad paid did you for it always tip your valet yeah, yeah you have to please Wait. and your servers you, you maniacs yeah. <laughs> Did you, I, I feel like all my nicknames, like, I can, I can remember a lot of my nicknames, especially from my family. One of them was Butt Chin. Okay, yeah, yeah. F- Fanny Face. Which, I feel like, I feel like your Butt Chin is disappearing. I feel like I've grown into a lot. your family referred to you as Butt Chin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. BC. But, butt Chin. And, and they were great. Hearing Fanny they Face great. is even funnier. That's my sister. Fanny, Fanny Face. Fanny, Fanny is vagina. Yeah. yeah. I like so that. So, I like that. I, as some of you may not probably, well, a lot of you probably not know me on this, on this podcast. They know. I, I have a Butt Chin. Uh, so there you go. It's out there. It's out there. <laughs> but uh, they used to call me that, or they would call me Ray J because my real name's Ray J. Oh, I like that. I would get Ray J sometimes too because I'm Renee Jane. Yeah, yes. yes. look at that. Making things happen here. Hell yes. Duda. Duda. Remember the movie where we go skip Biddy Duda? Skip Biddy Duda. Yeah. Biddy Duda. Yeah. What a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine. Zippity Duda. Zippity A. Mr. Bluebird's on my shoulder. Give him us something. Oh my. No, it's um, it's Mary Poppins. No, it's not Mary Poppins. Is it not? Let me Google it. Zippity Duda. Is it Yeah, because I, I still love that movie so much that my mom and I call me Duda, and she still does to this day. Call Duda. Me Duda. Oh, that's a cute yeah. one. Yeah. I, I used to, I actually used to have a jersey for Lucas Duda, who played for the Mets. <laughs> Not the same, not as cute. Not the same at all, but uh, I would go to Mets games, and he became my favorite player because he just looked like he would be everybody's stepdad. Song of the South. Really? No, uh, it's no, there, no. Right? It's from like a mainstream yeah. Disney movie. But no, 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 no. Oh fucking hell! If okay. it's but if it's not Mary Poppins, I'm positive it's, it's Mary not, Poppins. It's not because I remember them being uh, the singing it. I know, but I I'm, think it, it, it's when I'm he's like got like the pe- he's got like the penguins and stuff with them, right? No, no, no. That's a different song. You're yeah, thinking of a different, different one. Song. Uh, oh shit, where is it? People that are listening this to this that are cool. knowing it that are screaming like, yeah. say yeah! it! Fuck. Okay. What is it? It. Disney 1946. Yeah, it says animated movie Song of the South. That doesn't. That's not right. And then there's, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna maybe stick with that's right. Well, YouTube it, YouTube it, and see what comes up. Cause then you'll find the video and you'll know. Okay, yeah, you're right. We're struggling here. We're struggling, guys. Um, you know what the fuck we're okay, well, while Duda's looking up Zippity Duda, uh, do you have any other nicknames? No, I um. I don't think I've ever really had too many nicknames. I've I know one of your nicknames. One. Do you? Jungle Jim? <laughs> 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 
was only a handful of people who I love like the pure like almost panic in your eyes you're like what are you talking about it's a whole inside story that will not be unpackaged on this show but here's the thing here it is yeah this is the one this is this is the actual like I just remember this part of the story yes sir this here's one of them this looks like it's Yeah, yeah we're good. on the South of the South. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's yeah, it. Obviously but isn't that. that funny that, like, I can't, I remember that scene, and I remember yeah. that, but I don't remember the entire movie. Was no. it, was it like a Disney cut-together package of just songs or something, and that's no. why we all know it? Maybe. Yeah. Because I've never seen that movie. When the Disney Channel first started, though, they had, like, they would play videos in between, like, bumpers. Oh, maybe, maybe it's shows, something like that. And like, it's like, Mickey Mouse Club followed by like, that. It's a thing, it's, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like part of our childhood. Yeah. zippity doo -dah. But it wasn't a freaking movie, and I'm like, now I can't remember the rest of that movie for the love of me, even though like I watched it. That's very confusing. It was a movie. It obviously has cartoon characters in it. Um, I saw a really great meme the other day that said, um, depending on your tooth to gum ratio, if you've got more teeth, if more gums and teeth, you're uh, more inclined to love Disney. <laughs> uh, I have a terrible tooth to gum ratio, and I'm you not, do? Yeah, I'm not a big Disney fan. You're not gummy. I am gummy. I don't smile for that very reason. Give us a smile. Don't do it. What? The only time you'll ever catch me in a full smile is if I'm genuinely laughing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've Very seen it, but I, I, don't, I don't picture you being gummy. I mean, I'm not like Gina Davis gummy. But I'm like... <laughs> Gina Davis is like a babe. Where is she gummy? Even with that. What happened to I her? was actually, you know, I looked that up on something because I saw her in something not long ago. She and then, away. stop it. She, she did not. Know, yeah. No, she didn't. She, no, she was not a recent TV show. Yeah, she yeah. was on something recently. She's dead, man. Stop it. Don't fuck with us. Why would I mess with you about that? <laughs> You know, I'm gonna go Google and, uh, again. Uh, League of Their Own was on the other day, so I was like yeah, watching all. Like Twenty-five years. Yeah, ago. I know, but I'm She's saying dead. Gina Davis was like in her Gina prime. Davis was it? Dead. <laughs> Old Doodah's over here yeah, googling again. Doodah the Googler. No, That's my new nickname, Google. I just Shit. I Google Doodah. Yeah, she ain't dead. No, she's she's not, not dead. dead. You say that to people all the time. I'll ask you about like, you know, like a family member, and you're like, oh, they're dead. Sorry. Oh, you know what she was in? Passed on. Sorry. You, you know what she was in? Did you watch the TV show The Exorcist? No. No. Oh my god, that was great. She was in that. She she played like the the girl from the original movie. Reagan. Reagan. Yeah. Really. She played her as like an adult. Oh shit. It was shit. quite the show. Like honestly, it was really really good. Kind of scary too, and I don't get scared. Oh, I, I love a good scary movie. Okay. No, I heard it so good. Yeah, Is it amazing? I've seen it. <gasps> oh, tell I've us. I've seen it. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of snob when it comes to horror movies. Yeah. It's really it takes a long time to kick in. Okay. But there is some real like fucked up scenes in it. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Okay. Like, do you want to know some no, scenes? No, no. Okay. I want to see the movie. I just. I yeah. want like a rating. What do you rate it? Give us like your uh, Ebert and Roper uh, rating system or whatever. Well. I would do, okay, I have 10, or we doing like 100% Rotten Tomatoes type thing. Let's That's go out of 10. 10's okay. easier. Okay, I would I would give it probably. Well, what's, a, what's a movie you would give a 10? A horror movie you would give a 10 to? Oh, that's, That's a better tricky. question. See, I like the old school movies. Like, yeah. I like The Exorcist. Yeah. yeah. So I'm more into that. Like, yeah. That kind of Classics. stuff. Now, now it's mostly just... Um, now it's too much like shock dude, factor. You, you, music is scaring you, rubbing the actual right. movie, and then it turns ridiculous. Like, at the end... It, like every movie, it turns into like some freaking alien from outer space. Yeah, like, you know what I the hate? Ritual on Netflix. No. What's the ritual? The ritual is about these four dudes that go on like this guy. Oh, I saw trip. that. Yeah, I did really, see really that. Really, really solid movie the whole way, and then and you find flounders. out what the what the thing is, and it's like it, it looks like. Right, it. and that's why it's with Hereditary too. It's a long movie, like two hours, two and a half hours, wow. and then at the end of the movie, I'm just like, what? Like I, I was like, this is great. Like I was like, oh, this is taking ages. Okay, this is great. This is great. Yeah. This is great. And I'm like, no. It to it's Tony show. Collette, right? Is the actress in it? I have no uh, idea. I, yeah, I, she, I, I know her. I, I think it's Tony Collette. I feel like the big problem with horror movies now is it's like this big build up, and no it's better off. To yeah. not see the creature. When you yeah, see I the creature, I you're better off with like the, the weird shit that you think up oh. on your own but, and living with right. that. But people people are getting scared from her hereditary. Like yeah, the people I went to go stay away, everyone's like still thinking about it. I'm like, the only thing I'm thinking about is maybe one scene of that. Yeah. But it didn't like mess with my sleep. Yeah. I didn't like I didn't have to watch a comedy to like go to sleep at night. Yeah, I, I get like bummed like that because I saw so saying that to John last week. We went and saw um Jurassic Park. And I was like, all right, yeah. well, next week yeah. when I get home, let's go see hereditary. He's like, I'm not going to see that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you are. Just give it a try. Yeah. You have to, but he hates horror movies. Yeah. But I'm not going to go to a horror movie by myself. 
And I only go to movies with him. Isn't it weird that you want to be scared? Yes. You're like, I I want to go to a movie and I want to scare myself shitless today. And it's like a weird feeling. It is odd. Yeah, but it's because it's safe. It's the same thing like a oh, yeah. haunted, you know, Halloween Horror Nights because you True. get the thrill right. of being scared, but you also know that you're safe. But yeah. you might not yeah. be. Yeah. Have That's you seen scary. the movie, um, what is it called? Houses so- of October. Yeah, House yeah, yeah. yeah. October built. Yeah. yeah, 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 that one. That was dumb. I liked it. It was, terrible. It was a cool I concept. Cool concept. The concept is um, they're going around trying to find like the best haunted houses like through America, but uh, then it's like the weird people that they hire and like mm. all the chaos that could potentially happen. Yeah. But if you think about that when you're walking through one of those haunted houses and then think like, oh, what if these people are crazy people? There have definitely been a few creepers that have been employed. Like you've Grab definitely it, yeah, walked past someone dressed as like a mummy and that guy's like done, you know, done some time for... Kitty fiddling or something. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, this guy's a real jerk. <laughs> and on that note, here's another word from our sponsors. <laughs> Did you know that 66% of men lose their hair by age 35? That's where Hims, which is a new wellness brand for men, comes in. The thing is, when you start to notice hair loss, it's too late. It's easier to keep the hair you have than to replace the hair you've lost. So is that hairline slowly starting to move backwards? Any bald spots yet? How will you feel a year from now if it's uh, as, you know, it's not business as usual up there? So this is where Hims comes in. Forhims.com is a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness, and it's all for men. Thanks to science, baldness can now just be optional. Hims connects you with real doctors and medical grade solutions to treat hair loss. Well-known generic equivalents to name brand prescriptions to help you keep your hair. So no snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. Prescription solutions are backed by science. No waiting room, no awkward doctor visits. You can save hours by going to forhims.com. It's super easy. You just answer a few questions. Doctors will review and can prescribe you. Products are shipped directly to your door. So if you don't have time for the doctor, if you're nervous about it, this is a great way to get your health in check. So if you order now, our listeners at Regular Girls will get a trial of Hims for just $5 today, right now while supplies last. So go to the website for full details. This will cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or the pharmacy. So if you're a guy looking for some health care, looking for some support in that nature, definitely check out 4Hims. So go to 4 slash regular. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash regular. I'm going to say it one more time. Hims.com slash regular. Get yourself all healthy. Um, okay, so back to the terrifying uh, haunted houses and such. Oh, I know what it was. Um, have, would you ever go do one of those haunted houses where you have to pay and they you have to like sign a waiver and they um, it's so they can touch you, not in a perverted way, hopefully, but there's ones. There's I've, one. I've paid to have people touch me in a perverted way, so I, you know. <laughs> no, kidding, I'm kidding. Just kidding, guys. It's all a joke. It's all a gag. Um... But uh, there's one, I know there's one in New York, there's one in LA, and I think there might be one in Vegas where you go, and you have to like sign a waiver, or there's one where they start you off on your own. You're completely by yourself in a black, like a darked out room. Oh, God. So you can't even see anything, and then you know that somebody has entered the room with you, but you can't see shit. Yeah. Yeah, and there's like other ones where they've like, I was like reading reviews where like people got like dragged down hallways, and like, so you get like that oh, full experience. That's terrifying, and also like, I don't know. But you kind of can consider doing it right I mean, not if they're physically dragging me down hallways. But I, don't think I wouldn't, like, actually like, oh, hurt you. Okay. As long as I'm not getting hurt, yeah, I would probably do the experience I mean, of, I don't like... I to what extent. I don't know if they're going to, like, break your leg or anything. Like, maybe you, know you have, like, a bug. The is, like, I would, I would want to do it with someone. Like, I wouldn't want to just go in this don't room by myself. Yourself. Right. Yeah. Like, that would be the scary part. I would think it'd be cool if there was some way to record, like, if they did, like, a night vision so you could mm. just watch yourself being terrified. Yeah. That yeah. might be kind of entertaining. Yeah. But yeah. I found in life that most things that are entertainment-based that require a waiver usually yeah. don't pay off well. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. super hot foods and things like that, where you're like, hey, you're signing this so you can eat this chicken wing that'll make your heart stop. Is that a thing? Oh, yeah. It's, it's everywhere. Jeez. You don't have to look too far for food that requires waiver. <laughs> we, John and I, um, after TV last week, we were in um, we were in San Diego, and uh, he ordered a plate of calamari, but he thought for some reason there was just one fried pickle in with the calamari, so he bit into it, and it was a jalapeno. Mm. He started drooling at the table, shoving, like, a napkin in his mouth. Like, did they... Ah! What happened? Did we won! Yay! 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 Sorry. 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 We won! Yes! Okay, Okay, cool. great! 
Oh, good. Anyway, please continue your story. No, that was it. He was drooling everywhere, and it was a crime <laughs> scene. But he was so annoyed because I was like, "We got. I gotta get you out of here. You're a scene, and people might think like something's wrong with you." Um, and he was very offended that uh, I didn't embrace his mouth burning off. But he was like, "Why is there not a sign? Like the Somebody need to tell me." It, like yeah, the ketchup mustard, mustard everywhere. Yeah, it was it was ridiculous. But he was like, "Why is there not a waiver for me to sign? Or why did nobody tell me that this was that hot?" But it was a jalapeno. You should know. You should yeah, know those I things, right? I feel as though oh. calamari and jalapenos are not that easily confused. I, I can't do hot people. stuff. I can't do hot stuff. I can't do anything spicy. You're Brit. You can't. I can't. My, my palate yeah. isn't as experienced as everyone else's. Not allowed. We, we just started too spicy stuff in a kind of thing. What like curry? Well, yeah, we do. Spicy, yeah, though. but you can get like a yeah. nice korma or, you know, what like a that? masala, a korma. Oh, what's korma? It's more like Indian food, oh, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. really good. Wow. It's like a sweeter curry, okay. which I love. I think you'll really enjoy I it. I like all curries. Yeah. Never met a curry but I didn't like. A sp- spicy, yeah. like, ah. <laughs> it's probably lovely. But <laughs> Kaylin got a Bloody Mary the other day, which I really do enjoy a Bloody oh, Mary. Oh, yeah. But he gave me an olive, and it had like a little um, chili pepper where that is Ooh. inside it. Yeah. And so I pulled it out, but the fucking spice was still on it. So I'm eating, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'm suffering. Like I don't know how to deal with. It. I was like, why are you doing this to me? It's supposed to have like milk, right? Is milk like, supposed to quell it? Supposedly, that? allegedly, bre- white bread. Everyone's got their own methods, but I mean, it's it's, like they say that's mint. None of it, works. it says mint too. Like I, we mint. we we went to like a farmer's market too, and this. Lady had a st- like a stand just for spicy stuff. So Kalen's enjoying everything. Like he doesn't care. He'll, he'll eat ghost pepper. He'll eat everything, right? So I took I like. Eats with both uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like uh, yeah. I wish you could see what I was doing. <laughs> but he's eating it like a normal person <laughs> with a uh, with t- with you know whatever. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's, eating, he's eating the fuck you. <laughs> Ian, he's eating it, spicy, he's enjoying it. I take a freaking half a bite and like literally just like a little nibble. And I'm suffering again, right? Yeah. So I'm just like, ah, oh, it's just like, no, just enjoy it, it'll go away. And I'm like, no! And I'm like sweating, like I'm like, I can't do this. So she gives me a mint and it worked. A really? mint, mint, yeah. A little crazy. mint leaf. No, not mint leaf. Like I'm, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, peppermint. Just hit, she's like, shove this in your gob. You know what I mean? I'm oh, like, what why? Do, why is that not more known? I, yeah, think, I that, think everyone has like a gallon of milk with them everywhere they go. So. <laughs> and Pass bread, me the milk. Give, give me, me the milk. Who's got a loaf of bread? Off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's guaranteed to have some mint gum or Tic Tac yeah. or something. Of course. That's, that's, that's good to I'm know. Test that okay. out. For sure. I'm not tonight. Yeah, no go tip. for it. I yeah. might, I might just do it anyway. Let's do it. Let's get some hot sauce. Let's we probably do catering right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like right this moment. Look, do you want to go try it? And we'll put it, do a video. Let's try do it right now. All right, Should guys, we do that? Yeah, let's go do it. Um, okay. We're going to conclude this episode of Regular Girls. Paige, Graves, Soraya, Matt. Hey, oh, God, that's so weird. Thanks, rich, guys. Dad. Dad. Daddy. Are you ready to go eat some freaking chilies? Yeah, that's what you've, got, you've got a high tolerance, right? I mean, I don't Tolerance like, enough to probably yeah. beat me. Okay. I just want, I was more from a scientific perspective, I want to eat like yeah. something really hot and then see if it's peppermint. That's, the, that's exactly what we're going to do yeah. right now. That's all. All right, now we're up. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out, and uh, thanks for listening to Regular Girls. Love we'll see you, you next it. week. Bye. Bye.